Hello, my floss tube friends. It's time for another episode. Hi, everybody. How is it going? It's Friday, which means da -da -da -da! time for another fun Friday floss tube weekly update with me. I am Annie, Joy Filled Stitcher, and this is my channel and video about cross stitch but also some other things thrown in because I like other crafts as well. So thank you so much for tuning in this Friday or Saturday or Sunday or whenever the case may be um, to kind of hang out with me for a little bit see what I've been working on in the world of cross stitch and to kind of hear a little bit about my life and things like that. So this is floss tube number 76 and it is Friday, October the 30th, 2020. So we are very close to the end of October, the end of my birthday month. Yes, I claim the whole month because I turned 40 this year and it's my birthday month and I'll cry if I want to, cry if I want to, cry if I want to. Um, so anyway, whatever. Um, I will have some kind of October stats next week in my video. And the main one that I want to share is I would like to, at the end of the month, kind of give you a whip count. Because when I did my um, kind of the, the final countdown, so to speak, of all the starts leading up until this, you know, like my 40th birthday. October 14th, I did the unthinkable, but I had not done. I did not know this number, but I did in fact count my whips, so I knew what that number was and my goal has is to get to 42 whips by the time I'm 42 which is a little less than two years I feel as though I'm a like rusty bucket like I have not done this in a while but I did this last Friday and I've done this pretty much every Friday since May 2019 but for some reason the words they are not a coming hmm, I don't know anywho so like I said I'm gonna share stats next week um, I'll probably smatter in some life update throughout, but the first thing I really like to do is do some thank yous, kind of some administrative things. So the first thing I would like to say is thank you to all of you who are returning, who are my friends who watch week to week, and you take an opportunity to like the video, you've subscribed, um, you sometimes leave me comments, like a comment is not necessary. I love reading them. I heart them all because I've read them at least once. And this week specifically, thank you so much for all of your comments. I was very concerned about putting, like even leaving in the things that I shared at the end of the video. And I really, really appreciated so many of you um, sharing your heart with me. Um, whether it agreed with me or not, um, I think this should be a place where we can share openly how we feel, but in a way that does not force our ideas on someone else. So that is where I will leave that. I will say I did go exercise my right to vote last Saturday. Um, I had mentioned that that was kind of the first date that I was eligible to vote again because for some reason I had been purged. Um, apparently, um, after watching Erin Two Martini Stitcher's video, she shared that I'm not the only one that got purged from the system. And it really has nothing to do, in fact, with your voter history, because I voted in every major election. So I don't know. And I have been registered to vote since I changed my name after I got married. So who, who knows? But the case in point was, thankfully, I looked before my registration deadline and was able to get re-registered. However, it was not valid until this past Saturday. Thankfully, it is still early voting in the state of Texas. We don't have mail-in voting. To those of you that do, that is a wonderful, wonderful thing that you have mail-in voting or you know paper ballots um, that you can drop off at, at drop-off points. I think that's awesome. We do not have that. We only have that for a very, very, very short list of reasons why. And most of them are like you live outside of the county, the state, the country, the like whatever. And or in or maybe imprisoned. That might be another one. I'm not sure. Um, so anyway, thank you so much. I got off on a tangent. Of course I did. 
thank you so much for your kind and thoughtful comments. Um, thank you also so much to those who um, bought me a fancy floss last week. So several of the YouTubers that I watch, floss tubers that I watch, do a buy me a coffee. Um, I've seen one that does buy me a slice of pizza. And so it's just kind of a way that um, folks who feel so inclined can give back to the channel in some way, shape, or form. It's not an obligation. It's not a membership. It isn't a reoccurring charge. It is just something that, like, if you happen to hear something I said, I shared something, you love the fact that I do extensive show notes, whatever the case may be, if you feel so inclined, you can throw me a fancy floss because um, that's what I called mine. I don't drink coffee, so I call it um, buy me a fancy floss. I was looking for my water, and it's not over there. Mark, mark. So thank you so much to the following folks that since last week's video have bought me at least one fancy floss. So Amanda, and actually, ugh, I'm a jerk, but Amanda, who is that crafty chick made it, she designs, um, I know for a fact, knitting patterns. And the reason why I know this is, is she, for my birthday, sent me a copy of her most recent cowl pattern. And it's the coolest cowl that's got like, I think it's called mosaic knitting or intarsia. It's something where it changes color and makes a pattern on it. So it's way cool and it has like snowflakes. It's awesome. So Amanda, thank you so much, not only for the fancy floss, but also for sending me that pattern. And I apologize that I did not share that last week. So thank you, thank you, thank you. Also big thank yous to Lynn, Bonnie G, Jen C, Carol O, M Kissa, Slow Steady Stitches, and Cynthia F. I appreciate each and every one of you. Thank you so much. And I love reading the little comments that you've added as well. And thanks to you guys, this video is ad-free. Yay! And probably the next one too. So thank you so much. I will say that I just realized that uh, Buy Me A Coffee has an op option to like, I can post. Like I can put posts in there. I can do additional extra things on there, like post little videos. And you can do a membership on there too and I'll, and do perks on there. So I'm kind of investigating that. So it might be something that some of you may want to look into. If you watch me and you're a floss tuber, I would love, and one that I watch like regularly, get the buy me a coffee so I can buy you coffee. Peace and thank you. Because I can't necessarily do Patreon for everyone. Um, I did add a Patreon for Teresa Cogut because... I did not know she had one. I think it's her first month. And she has like four tiers. And like all but one of them include at least one PDF chart. Like incredible. And I think like I'm in tier three. And it's a re very reasonable amount of money per month. And I get two charts. And a coloring page or two or something like that. Which coloring pages is like incredible. Um, I get those from Tracy at Ink Circles. And those are the highlights for Joyfield Little One because she loves to color. So I'm looking at maybe perks on that. So thank you, thank y'all, thank y'all, thank y'all so, 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 so much. Like thank you does not seem to cover it. I just am so appreciative and it just, it means the world to me. So with that being said, let's do some past the stash. So last week I had two charts that I'm going to send. Um, the first is this one that I finished last week. I will be sending this one probably in the cellophane because it has some of the small beads. And I asked you if you wanted to um, stitch this to say bear. And the um, person that was chosen had filled out, the very first one had filled out my Google um, contact form, my happy mail form, which is linked in the description box below. As always, that information is usually there tomorrow morning not tonight. Um, it is Friday night. It'll be there Saturday morning. And the person chosen is Samantha. Her YouTube screen name is Mind My, Me Mind My Needle. And she's in New Zealand. And so this is going to New Zealand. So congratulations, Samantha. I have your information, obviously, so I will be sending this to you. I am waiting on my international stamps to come in from USPS. I ordered them online. And, um, so once they're here, this will go out, and then I have one other chart that needs to go to someone in Canada. So, no, not Canada. Somewhere. 
The other one is Bendy Stishy Designs. This is your okay. And I'd ask you to put in the comments bird if you were interested in stitching this. And so the person chosen had also filled out my contact form. Fantastic. And that is Shelly Meldrum. So Shelly, congratulations. I have your information and I will be sending this your way. And as I talked about in lots of other videos, I take it out of the sleeve and I trifold it so that I can send it just with a regular stamp. Um, one, I think that helps support the USPS by buying stamps. And secondly, um, it's more cost effective and allows me to do this more often. Um, if I do large items or things that can't go in just a standard envelope like that with the pl plastic sleeve has to go in some kind of a mailer and then it doesn't qualify as a letter. It qualifies as um, like a parcel. Also, some of you... I am waiting on some six by nine envelopes that are supposed to be coming because a six by nine envelope, as long as it meets certain criteria, can be shipped, sent with a post one forever postage stamp. I'm waiting on those to come from Amazon. And so I sent out quite a few of them last time, last weekend, like I said I would, but I was waiting on those because um, like the scary apothecary, I don't want to fold that because it's cardboard and then it'll be too thick and I'm afraid it will mess up the printing on the back. So I did buy some uh, six by nine envelopes. So those are coming. I promise I have not forgotten anybody. All right. So I think, I think that's all for like the administrative stuff. So real quick, let me share with you a tiny bit of life update other than the fact that I voted, which is awesome. So I know I shared a story about the rain last Friday, the goalie washer, the river run through carpool. Thank you, Jenny, for hashtagging it. You always come up with the best, best hashtags. River run through carpool hashtag. Um, we ended up having rain from Sunday night all the way through Wednesday evening. And then we had a tiny bit of drizzle on Thursday morning. And I, for those of you that don't know, I am an elementary educator. And I am on both a rival crew, like duty. I'm like out there helping kids get out of cars, things like that. Both in the mornings and in carpool line in the afternoon. It was very unseasonably cold. I live in North Texas. I live in Fort Worth. And typically this time of year, today's weather would be standard, which is sunny or rainy or whatever. But about between 65 and 70. Like that's pretty standard for this time of the year. We can be hotter. We can occasionally be colder, but not this cold. We were, for the most part, in the 30s and 40s with rain for three days. I don't think I ever thawed. <laughs> um... So I was going out to morning carpool because here's the problem. Some of you are so sweet too to congratulate me. I've lost 50 pounds since my highest weight, which was probably, which was September 2018. But I think when I started filming my videos, I was also more overweight than I am right now. Um, I still, I have lost a lot of weight in my chin, but my skin has not gone away. So when I look down, I still have but it's all skin. Tell me if you know something to get rid of that. I've been doing collagen and it doesn't help. Um, and I have that everywhere. Like I have it right here. Yeah. Okay. That's more than you needed to know. But any, we're, we're real. We're genuine and real on this channel. I'll show you my, my flabby. I'll show you my flabby weight loss skin. Anywho, uh, <laughs> you can't laugh with yourself. Like, what is it then? But anywho, um, I had gone through and done a major closet clean out. And one of the things that got cleaned out was my heavy like wool coat, wool pea coat, because literally you could have fit like myself and someone else in the coat and wrapped it around. And I got rid of it like earlier this month thinking, okay, I have time to go find a coat, like no big deal. And then mother nature decided, ha 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 ha. I'm going to make it 38 in the morning with a 20 north, twenty mile per hour wind from the north with rain. There's, there's, the people who live in Pacific Northwest, I applaud you because I don't know how you survive. It being cold and wet. That's the thing is like typically when we're cold in the wintertime, we can get pretty cold and blustery. 
but it's not a super wet cold. It's a, like more a drier cold. Wet cold is miserable. So I pretty much adopted a three pairs of gloves scenario. Yes, three pairs of gloves. Two jackets because I had on like a fleecy type jacket and then I had on my big like rain parka, which has zero like insulation. It's just to keep me dry. Rain boots and wool socks. Thank goodness for my tiny space heater because I needed it every day. My fingers were like bright red at the tips, like frostbite was coming. I don't have great circulation. That is something with being type two diabetic is I don't have fantastic circulation. And so I notice that my hands and my feet get cold very, very fast. Um, but that's, un that's more under control than it has been in the past, but my body's not ready for 50 less pounds in the winter. So my goal tomorrow is to go and get myself the warmest jacket. I don't care how ugly it is, I'm gonna buy it. And from what I understand, Costco has a puffy coat, and yes, I call it a puffy coat, has a puffy coat that is fantastic, and it's only maybe $45. That is right within my budget. I don't care what color it is. It might be better ha if it's like traffic cone orange. But anywho, I spent the vast majority of those first three days like shivering. <laughs> um, it was also homecoming week, so we had dress up days every day. Um, my school is private, so we have uniform guidelines. Like, we have a uniform, like plaid skirts, the whole nine. Um, but during dress-up weeks, they get to dress out of uniform if they meet the theme. Well, so Monday was fine. It was, what was Monday? Camo day, which was perfect because, like, we can find camo stuff. Like, yes. Tuesday was tropical. It was, like, the most hysterical thing like we're all like Bleh. like and it's tropical it was not maybe the best thought out but you know it could theoretically have been 90 this week like it is what it is Wednesday was pink out because we um our school sells pink t-shirts that have like our theme of the year for our local breast cancer center um we raise funds that way as a fundraiser uh Yesterday was Western Day, which let me tell you, that is always a huge hit because living in Texas, well, okay, I don't want to generalize, but in Fort Worth, our one of our um, city nicknames is Cowtown. Also, where the West be begins is because this was like the end of the line. This was where the West began. We have a stockyards. The rodeo is huge here. Um... So yes, everybody has boots, everybody has jeans, everybody has the big belt buckles and the giant hats with the feathers and it's awesome. I love it because the kids come like full, full on. And then today was spirit wear. And I've already changed out because I had on a shirt that has like big logoing and things and I just chose to not show that today. So I have on my, a shirt that I got from a company called Live in Faith. Um, and it's, this is, um, no shadow you won't light up, no mountain you won't climb up. Um, and this is, uh, from a Christian song called Reckless Love. Um, you might know it. You might not. It's, no shadow you won't light up, mountain you won't climb out, coming after me. Anyway, um, I won't relish you with any more singing today. We have zero Halloween plans. Okay, I don't say Z, I, I. We're not doing tr anything traditionally Halloween. Joyful little one, since teeny tiny, is scared of her own shadow, pretty much, when it comes to Halloween time. And she doesn't like driving through certain neighborhoods. She's like, I can't like it, it's too spooky. So we like the cutesy, dressy, uppy kind of Halloween. And so she dressed up for ballet yesterday, which was super fun. She was the cowardly lion, but it was like a tutu outfit. It was so cute. And they did a little show off, like a little dance, but they did it uh through zoom so instead of us typically like all the parents coming and all the grandparents coming and like having 70 people stuffed in this little studio watching the kids show off their little dance they've learned so far they did it through zoom and so they had the big camera like pointing so we could all see them dance and she did such a good job um and animal crossing for those of you who don't know animal crossing is rocking awesome i love animal crossing a joyful little one and I play. My husband played for a little bit, like back in the spring, before he kind of went back to work as much as he does. Um, but they have a little Halloween hoopla tomorrow, and she's very excited. So it starts at five. 
So we're going to do our little Animal Crossing Halloween. We've been collecting candy to give out. And like you can get things from Jack. I don't know. She's very informed about it. Because she's Googled about it on her Chromebook. She's so fancy now. All right, that is enough rambling and nonsense. If I don't get moving, we're gonna we're gonna run into some problems. Um, okay, so I am going to share what I worked on this week. So basically, here's what we got. We got some whips. I worked. I finished one thing, not FFO'd, but I finished one thing. I've got a tiny bit of plans because today started a new rotation. Got some stash, and that's gonna do it. So. On top are all my knitting things, so I'm going to real quick kind of blow through those because they're just on top. Um, this knitting project lives in this Knit Picks bag that I got off of their website. It's a little canvas one, and it says, All You Knit Is Love. And this actually holds my tiny little baby hat um, that I am knitting for my daughter's teacher. And so um, it's coming along rather nicely. It's on some teeny tiny little circular needles, like they're nine-inch cables. Um, and I have maybe another half inch of just straight, why is that blowing that out? Straight stockinette, and then I'm going to start decreasing, and then it goes to an I-cord to make like a little top knot. It's a, it's an adorable hat pattern that I, um, who shared it? Her name is Denise. She is Earth Tones Girl Podcast. I will link below. Um, she shared it in one of her more, more recent um, podcasts that she had used this pattern for uh, some hats for her nephew. And she was gracious enough to share it in her notes. Um, I worked on my Fairy Hill shawl. This lives in a little knitty knitting drawstring tote I made. Um, this was generously, wonderfully gifted to me by um, Jessie Marie. This is the Fairy Hill Shawl. I am knitting this with some beautiful yarn from Nick Picks. It's their Hawthorne um, fingering. And this is in the color Burlingame. And my progress keeper is Charmed and Dangerous on Etsy. It's the little donut box. And the last time I showed this, I had, I was about here. So I've done, I don't even know how many rows, but I've done quite a number of rows. And this is knitting up beautifully. So this is actually the top neckline. And then I'm knitting down. So it's getting larger. It started with about five stitches. And then it has these beautiful eyelet lace details every now and again. And as I get towards closer to the bottom, it will have them more frequently. But I think this yarn is knitting up so fun. Um, every time I pull this out, Joyful Little One goes, and who are you knitting that for? To which I respond, me. <laughs> but you know, it's her jam. It's those colors are her jam. All right, I also pulled out um, this week because I actually have my knitting projects also in a tiny decisions wheel. So they are also kind of getting randomly spun to work on. And I kind of choose two, like a morning and an afternoon but it's more just to give me variety. Like I don't necessarily say, oh, I can only knit on this in the morning. Like it could be afternoon. It could be like 12.01. This is the Garter Rib Baby Blanket. This is a free pattern by Orange Flower Yarn. And I will um, link this below. This is a super, super fun um, knit. I am knitting this with Barocco Comfort. And this is in a really pretty light pink. And the color is 9705. It's a super light blush pink. And the last time that I showed this, this is another Charmed and Dangerous Progress Keeper. It's a cute little pot of pink pot of cookies. Um, I was here, so I've done quite a bit. That's actually the back. It doesn't really matter, but the front has the stockinette with the kind of garter rib in the middle. The back has the pearl with the garter rib. But I love this, and it's so soft. It's a breeze to work with. This yarn is fantastic. It was actually recommended to me at my local LNS. Um, it's owned by Julie. It's called Juju Knits. They're actually having their one year um, anniversary kind of celebration tomorrow where you can come and bring a chair and like sit out and knit. I don't know that I'll be able to get by, but I wish them a happy one, one, one year old birthday. Um, but it was recommended because it's 
easy to care for when it's finished. And with baby things, you want it to be easy to care for. The baby hat is actually in a Knit Picks. It's the Comfy Worsted. Um, and then I actually had a cast on. I was feeling like I needed a comfy, comfy, snuggly cast on. So this actually lives in this super cute Tula Fox uh, box bottom bag that I got from a seller on um, Stash Unloading. It's Shirley. Shirley also makes the patchwork bags that I really like, but she has been selling a few of these little box bottom bags. I have two of them. I have this one and I have um, one with squirrels, I think. And then the progress keep after I show this today is actually one of the Charmed and Dangerous ones from the October Charm Club. And so this is, and if I don't have a, I bet I don't, I don't. Okay, let me look this up. But this is by um, Denise Baron or Bayron. One second, please. And it is called the Cardi Cardizen or Cardizen. And it is fantastic. So it is a um, Cardizen, a cardigan, cardigan, sorry. And it is knit with a super bulky weight yarn. So it is very, very easy. It basically is knit in one large rectangle. Now, she shows it with sleeves and you add the sleeves secondary like you knit the whole panel and then you add sleeves i'm a big lover of vests i am not going to put sleeves in it i am going to wear it as a vest so let me pull up a picture so i can show you but it is adorable i love it she actually is working on i believe a dk version of this so instead of the super bulky isn't she just beautiful in it too but it's got this huge drapey collar and it's got you can add a you know a closure or you can keep it open so I was looking for some form or fashion of some chunky yarn so I ended up with and this is I think what they call a super bulky this is a cascade yarns and this is the Lana Grande it's 100% Peruvian Highland wool and you knit this on like 15s. They say 13 to 17s, but it's this really pretty like oat, oatmeal and light gray or taupey gray. And it's gonna take quite a bit of this, but I have a little bit of start. As you can see, it's on gigantic. These are uh, Chai, Chai Gu US 15s. I don't have much, but it's completely knit in garter. And so literally this is like the side this is the length of the side and then you knit it across here and you you knit in the armholes so it's a fun knit it's super like straightforward um it goes super fast and my only thing is my hands are so dry right now and wool sucks the moisture out of your hands a little bit more so with things like that i do tend to need to put on some lotion which kind of will lead me to stash in a minute all right, so projects. Let me start with my finish. So my finish this week is I actually got a finish on Noah's Christmas Ark to the Doves. This is on 18 count mystery Ada from Mystic Fabrics. And I have, sorry, um, FaceTime decided to come up. I have it finished, yay. So I am not stitching the borders on this. Um, because I'm gonna do them as a pillow finish, so I am not doing the checkerboard border um, anymore. I did on the first couple. So I have this one and giraffes that I need to FFO. They are for my mom. I am doing this whole series for her over the next however many years um, if Paulette keeps releasing them. So I am done for now with, the, with that. Next up, this project lives in a bag that I sewed. This came up as a three-day project or a two-day project. I cannot remember. I didn't get that many days in it. It was kind of a rough stitching week this week. But this is called the Lone Star Stitchers and this is by Twin Peak Primitives. And this is a chart that was gifted to us by the twins um, for our um, Lone Star Stitch Retreat that was supposed to be in April and it didn't happen. 
um, but they graciously went ahead and gave it to us. So this is on a 16 count Ada from Pictures Plus in Nessie. And all I really got put in was this flower right here and I actually don't even have it all the way finished. I like half stitched, I tent stitched these three petals. And then I came over and I tent stitched some of the Lone Star word and that star. So this one did not get its really fair due, but it's not because I didn't enjoy it. It's just I was ready to move on to something else after I had already, you know, put in a abysmal about of work. All right, so I'm I'm not sure if I showed this or not, but this was a two day project. This is Plum Street Samplers Shepherd's Pie. This was a Nashville release from this year. Um, this is on. 36 count vintage maple sugar linen from Lakeside Linens. I got a fair bit of progress on this in the two days that I stitched on it. This linen is gorgeous. I worked predominantly on her. I um, put in the polka dots of her skirt. I might have shown this last week with the polka dots. I cannot remember. I did her whole skirt, her belt, and her shepherdess crook. And so this is coming along lovely. This hill right here, or whatever she's standing on, is completely fill-in. I need to get started on that, or it's going to end up not getting filled in. Because that's kind of my MO, is like if it's a big block of color, I have to be in a right mindset. And that's few and far between. Just being honest about that. All right, then I worked on, for two days, Silver Creek Samplers. This is called Johnny Appleseed. I am stitching this as a gift for my daughter's teacher from last year. They sang this, which is the Lord is good to me. So I thank the Lord for giving me all the things I need. The sun and the rain and the apple seed. The Lord is good to me. Amen. They sang this before lunch every single day. I am doing some color changes. This is on a piece of, what is this on a piece of? 18 Count Ada and Colonnade from um, Color and Cotton. And so I have the whole top line done. I did brighten up the colors a bit. And then I am working my way along this second line. So yeah. Um, I really like it. This is a fun, I love, 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 love the letters that Silver Creek Samplers does. All right, so then I showed this one last week, but it had not finished its rotation. This is... All Creatures Great and Small. This project is not small. This is by Barbara Anna Designs. It is beautiful. It is immense, but I love it. I love it, I love it. And this is on a piece of 18 Count Ada from a dyer on Stash Unloading on Facebook. Her name is Oksana. She might have a shop or a website, but I'm not aware of it. This is where I've always bought from her. Um, and so here is where I got to after my rotation. So I filled in some more of the hill. You can see I even come up, came up here and filled in some hill. This green. I shouldn't say it's all hill because there's green here. There's green going down this way. So this is not a short-term project, and that's okay. I'm really, I, like I said, I love stitching on this. It's a nice, um, hefty Ada. It's got fun colors. I mean, it's Barbara Anna. I love everything she does. And so this is this is one that I'm not... Like, I kind of went, mm, I don't like the big projects. I like this big project. And I like that it got spun. Okay, this one I also showed last week. This lives in a bag that Mandy sent me. She sewed this, and I actually have two of them, and I just adore them. They are my mo some of my most favorite project bags. Maybe my most because of how much they mean to me. This one holds... Barbara Anna Designs Santa's Trip Sal. And so many of you said, oh, I went immediately and bought it. I don't know if it's going to go away, but I feel like I heard it somewhere. And I don't want to like you to go panic by it. But it's $9.99 for like a nine part stitch along. And it's beautiful. So if you like Barbara Anna, head over to Creative Poppy. I will link it below and purchase it. The last part I think comes out maybe tomorrow. Possibly. I have this going on 18 Count Coffee Club by Be Stitch Me. And I got a lot. I got I got what I wanted done plus. So last week when I showed this, I said I wanted to have the frame completely done with the berries. 
and holly all done but i did all of that plus i started i got this whole outline of the snow done these berries are fantastic oh my gosh i love them love them love them so love it cannot wait to pull it out again when it comes up on the wheel i got one more so excited to have this out and it's actually still on the cue snap because i'm going to put some more time in it tonight so first things first it is still like in progress um but i have jumped on the bandwagon of these things they're fantastic um but i'm going to pull them off i will say this needle minder is the one that tracy from ink circles sent me uh, because i am a patron of hers she sent me this awesome acrylic needle minder that's one of her mandalas it had to go on this project it just had to so i'm going to take off my little blobbly blobblies and show you what i got done so i this is i guess i could show you the pattern some of you have been with me long enough to know about this because it just celebrated its birthday this week but this is ink circles rosetta it's gorgeous the uh, model was stitched completely in Gloriana in Cranberry. I didn't do that. I am choosing a rainbow of colors. So this is on 20 count opalescent Ada in Snurt from Mystic Fabrics with a variety of flosses. So the all of the borders are in Carla and I's favorite color cinders or one of our favorite color cinders. This is Gentle Arts Verdigris. Gentle Arts Dragonfly, Gentle Arts, ooh, look at that sparkle, Cucumber, and as you can see, I'm about three quarters of the way done with this motif, and then there's one more that goes, goes across the top, so I will show you the rest of my colors, because they're so pretty. So cinders, ugh, oh, this lighting is good. I have a lot of these left, too. Fair Degree, Dragonfly, Cucumber, which is what I'm working on right now. I'm, I want to get to this so bad. This is Island Blue, so it's green and turquoise. Look at that. And then the next row starts with Corn Husk, which is like a chartreuse green gold. Then we've got Gold Leaf, Butter Crunch, which is like variegated and awesome. It's blowing it way out, way out. Then we've got Bittersweet, Bittersweet. And then the last row starts with Coral Reef. Actually, I think these are the other way around. Pomegranate, Geranium, and Pink Azalea. And um, I basically, when I decided to get this up, I went to my LNS, which is the Stitch Niche in Arlington, Texas, and I went on the... Uh, gassed wall the gentle arts wall and pulled all the colors I loved like that caught my eye and then I only had to narrow it down by a few and it came up with this and then my kind of like floss buddy floss keep is actually a keychain from St. Patrick's Cathedral in New York City it's their rose window because this reminds me of rose windows and we went there at Christmas time last year and so to New York City and I got to see it in person. So that is going to have a little bit more time put into it. Um, it might have more. I'm really enjoying working on it. I'm hesitant to put it away. But I have gone ahead and picked a new five-day project. So I will talk about that in just a minute. Let me just kind of stick all this in here and put it over that way. Since I am coming back to it this evening. All right. So that is all she wrote for um, what I stitched on. So let's talk a tiny bit about plans. So plans, today started a new rotation. And my new rotation is actually a five day. And then a two day that's like a regular stitching and a two day that's present stitching. So I have some items that I am trying to get finished by Christmas. Um, so I kind of have my own wheel for that and anytime I have a two-day rotation I spend not only one because my two-day projects are my small projects they're my smalls and minis so they're less than 99 stitches square um, I think that's right and then I've got these present things that I'm going to stitch so um, my new five-day 
It's supposed to start today, but I may bump it to tomorrow. Actually, does it start today or does it start tomorrow? I'm not sure. But it's, uh, I'm so excited. The Wheel Spun Mirabilia Snow Queen. So, um, I will get five days in this. It just may bump. The, the one nice thing is, is I don't have to. Like, if I want to start this five day on Sunday, I start on Sunday. I don't have to bump them up right next to you. However, I am going to go ahead and move on to these. This is my present stitching that I need to work on. This is Plum Street Sampler's Clementine. I am working on this for my sister-in-law. And um, then my two-day, and I think I could maybe even get a finish on this in two days, is um, Barbara Anna's Strawberry Time. And this was in the summer 2019 issue of Punch Needle Primitive Stitcher. And I actually have this one on the Q-Snap because I was going to start working on her. So this is where she is right now. So I don't have much. I have just a little bit more, I think. Yeah, I have one more like ruffle of her skirt, her feet, and then I have the vine with the strawberry. Oh, and her hat band. The hat band, I believe, is the same as this ruffle, so that's why I have not stitched it yet. And yes, I just jabbed my needle in there. It's in a rush. It's in a bit of a rush. So those are to kind of be like immediate plans. Now, since we are looking, you know, at November, couple of things. One, I know for a fact I need to spend some time on, and I had a picture of it so I could show you. Oh, it's right here. I need to get some more time into Hello Dear because I am on release one and release three came out and it is so good. It is just getting better and better. So release one included the Robin, which I have the Robin stitched and kind of went up to like here. I think it went right below the poinsettia. Release two included this adorable squirrel, the poinsettia, another pine cone, some really pretty holly leaves. And then this is release three that came out on Monday. Was it Monday? Monday. With the bunny. Oh my gosh. Adorable. And But that's a big blocks of color. So I feel like that that's awesome because I can, it's in DMC. I can outline and then fill in. And then another pretty poinsettia. And I can already tell you that's got to be a deer down here. And then we've got, so we've got, I think, two more parts. Um, so it might, I don't know where the next part's going. It might be this and then this. I'm not sure. I don't feel as though I'm under the gun on this. I adore it. I'm going to link below again where you can go and still get the PDF. I believe there's still kits available. My code, I believe, still works. Joy10, J-O-Y-10 will get you a discount off of either the PDF or the full kit. So that's on the gamut for this next week. I need, or this weekend for sure. I need to get some time put into that. Um, and then coming up on Sunday, two events are happening in Semi Sane Stitchers that I'm actually really excited about. So I'm gonna have to see how they work with the wheel spinning and my rotations. But the two events, and I think it might still be a closed group. I'm not sure. So I'm not going to go into too much detail because I don't like sharing about groups that, like, you can't go readily join. Um, the first one is called Stitchergories. So it's like Scategories, which I love that game. And basically what you have to do is they're going to give you, like, prompts, a letter, and then some things. So, like, an example would be the letter L. And then it would be like fruit, pet, tree, something, um, game, something. And you have to find examples of that in your pieces and then stitch a certain amount to demonstrate that. Um, so I think that'll be kind of cool and it'll make me think. And then the other one is called Connect Four. And basically you're picking four whips that are connected in some way and putting a thousand stitches in each of them over the course of the month. So I'm going to pick my big ones. And I don't know what my connection is yet. I kind of had an idea, but it doesn't have the ones I really want to work on. And I really want to get a thousand stitches in. So, I'm going to rethink that. We shall see. Um, all right, so let's do, like, we're really like, oh, 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 oh. And my uh, knitting projects, my two focus knitting projects will be my Lentilla Charlotte, which I am Calling with Erin Two Martini Stitcher and Fairy Hill, um, which is the one that I got from Jesse Marie. So I'm excited about that. All right, so let's do some joy filled stashy stash time. This is where the video gets long. And you know what? I'm going to smatter in some, some past, past the stashiness. 
So I have some of the Prairie Schooler mini cards and these are the more Halloween themed ones, spookily themed ones. And I'm not going to stitch them so I feel like I should pass them along and today seemed like a good opportunity to do so. So I'm going to do two right now and then we'll come back because I have five. I have five today. Five. So we're going to start with this one. This is a cute little like raven maybe holding a pumpkin with 13 in it and a black moon. So if you would like to stitch this, I would like for you to say moon. So M-O-O-N. This is moon. And then this one, I've seen several people. I know Erin has stitched this. I can't remember who else, but some other folks have stitched this one. Um, and so if you would like to stitch this one because it says boo, uh, put boo in your comment. B-O-O. -O, boo. So, so far we have moon and boo. Hey, bonus points just because you're awesome. And I might pin your comment if you can use all five of them in one sentence and it's like really good. So, it's joy filled stashy stash time. It's joy filled stashy stash time and my bucket is backwards yet again. So, we're going to start with something somewhat non stitchy related. Um, I, if you are looking for a great like the reason why I'm sharing this now is because I want you to be able to have it but we try to find ways to bridge Christmas Ooh, sorry guys between the Santa side of things because joyful little one I love her um, Santa still Santa comes he brings his magic key and opens our door and all of that but bridge the story of Santa with um, Jesus's birth and his birthday and so I actually have a dear friend of mine who wrote a book about this and it's called A Gift to Remember and it is a fantastic paperback book. The illustrations are incredible. Illustrations are incredible. It has the sweetest story. Um, on the back it says what does Santa want you to remember? It's Christmas time and the elves are working as the big day is fast approaching. As Santa finishes reading your special letter, Mrs. Claw asks, Claus asks him what he would give to each child if he could give just one gift. Santa decides to make something magical for all the children of the world. Love Santa, love Jesus. Dive into these beautifully illustrated pages to discover how each Christmas we can all remember what's truly important in life. So I just thought I'd share this. I will link it. You can get it on Amazon. I will link it. We've already read it like four or five times. As you can see, it's it's already well loved. It is a new um, book out this year. And I love that at the bottom it says, This book was inspired by a seven-year-old boy and his unselfish letter to Santa. So I, I got a little weepy reading it. Um, Joyful Little One loves it. So if you're looking for a new kind of Christmassy book to add to your collection, it is paperback. It's very reasonably priced. I will link it below. And I'm not an Amazon affiliate, so you don't have to, I'm not getting any kickbacks. I'm just wanting to share, share goodness. All right, so I do not read sometimes. Um, I'm a teacher, I don't read sometimes. Charm Dangerous, Charm Club. When I showed the first two, I said, oh yeah, you could do the Charm Club, you get two. No, 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 you get four. In two different shipments so this month in October it was sweater weather I'm a ding-dong um, and so I got two more charms and this one is a precious sweater with a red cardinal oh my gosh adorbs and then look at this one dude it is a sweet little snail look at him sweet little snail with a scarf and a turquoise iridescent shell so needless to say, I cannot wait to see what the theme for November is. And I will probably jump on board. Because, you know, I mean, if I'm going to have all the knitting whips, I need to have all the knitting. Accoutrement. Accoutrements. The accoutrements. I'm going to be from Texas. And I'm going to say, I need some accoutrements for my stuff. Okay, so then apparently this week I needed all this the needle minders. <laughs> Dude, it's a rabbit hole. Everything is a rabbit hole. So the first place that I saw one that I just had to have was from um, Allison Rosen. She has It's Charm School. So this is her cute little logo. Everything comes in these precious little Velcro-topped envelopes. 
She even sent me like a whole envelope with um, ephemera. My only complaint is the postal service. It came in this cute little box, like cardboard box with crinkly paper and other fun stuff. It was soggy. Thankfully, it didn't ruin all my envelopes and it didn't ruin all my awesome ephemera that I can use in my journals. And somebody said, can I see your journal? I, sh I shared about my stitchy journal not too terribly long ago. If I can remember, I'll put a info card. Um, but anywho, the first thing I got, and I had seen this and I was like, this is pretty genius. It's called a tail tucker. So it's this little small, and this one is a pig. Pig? Cow? I can't remember which one it is. But basically, it's like this two-parted, I can't even explain it, but it's like a two-parted needle that's really super wobbly. And, oh, see, you can put your thread through here. So when your tail's really short, and then you kind of go and pull it through. So you can like stick this in, thread your needle, and pull it through, and it'll tuck your tail. We'll see. It may be too advanced for me. But I thought it was cute. All right, so then I, I grabbed up two needle minders, and her needle minders, whoops, have these awesome little cabochon, cabochons. And this one I thought was adorable. It is like a little bakery container, like a little baking tin, and then it has felt inside. Hang on. Okay, I'm back. That was the ups man. That's what we call the UPS guy, the ups man. Um, he was dropping off something that I will show in next week's video. Um, so anywho, this one is so cute because not only it's kind of a different take on a needle minder. Um, you put your needle in here. Like, it's a little felt. I don't know. I don't know if I'll even use it, but it's too cute. So I got it. And it's not going to stick on there like that. But this was the one I was super excited about because um, Cunning Cross Stitch announced both of their mystery stitch-alongs for this year. It's not a Stitch Your Own Adventure. This year's uh, 2020s was Harry Potter themed. Next year in 2021, they're doing two of them. The first one that they announced is Magical Kingdom. And then the second one is Animal Crossing. So guess which one I'm doing? Animal Crossing. And I might at some point do um, the, the Magical Kingdom one. But I saw that Allison had this precious resin needle minder. And it's for sure Animal Crossing because one, bunny. And two, peach butts. Those are peach butts in the tree. Like if you play Animal Crossing, you know that the peaches look like booties. So, yeah, I had to hand it for that project, right? Yes. Just say yes. Just agree with me. So, anyway, I thought that was super cool. Um, so, I got those. Let me move those out of the way. And then I was on Stash Unload, and um, a seller, um, her shop is O Mags needle minders she has some real cute ones i loved this one it's uh, a little ornament that looks like ray dunn that says nice and then this one looks like my church a little bit so um my only thing is and i haven't put these into action is the magnets are really small and they don't have anything to like on the back i kind of am used to when i get one one the magnet being larger and or because usually that means strength and or um something on the back so that you don't lose the back magnet speaking of needle minders i got some from mad for minders i love 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 her minders look at this cute little vintage girl stitching so cute i got this one that looks like a wizard of oz poker chip i don't know what these are going on actually i know what this one is going on i don't know what this one's going on but i could not resist it's a whale and a heart and a boat and a light bulb that's what I mean. Look at how big her back magnets are. Like, and they stick. Okay, and then, oh my gosh. Look at this hippo. I got this hippo. I think that's going to go on All Creatures Great and Small. I got this vintage Dorothy. Here's another sweet little girl stitching. This little mouse. Oh my gosh, so cute. And then a Tudor Rose. Tudor Rose. Because I am in the Tudor Rose Sampler Guild. Oh, good gravy. See what I mean? I'm sorry if that was really loud. It was really loud to me. It kind of startled me. That's what happens with strong needle minders. All right, so then also in here, I got this small project bag. This is from um, 
know her last name. And I know her Instagram name. Now I'm going to have to look. Because I don't want to say it wrong. And this is just, this is what makes the video long. Is me and my unpreparedness. <laughs> Cassandra. And she sells these, I believe, in her Instagram account. Cassandra is her name. She is C.N. Martinez. And I just loved this one. And the words say, like, crunchy leaves, crackling fire, hot cider, cozy blankets. I just thought it was really pretty. I love the, like, mums. So, um, prices are reasonable. Small size, good heavy-duty vinyl. All right, I got some pretty boring 18-count uh, white Ada. But I need this because my um, 12 Days of Christmas Satsuma Street I am moving from 36 count white linen to 18 count white Ada in hopes that I can move a little faster. Um, this was Threads and Twine. I had added this to my order and her sale order. And I can't remember what the reasoning was, but this was coming separately. I know Erin T. Martini Stitcher has stitched this and I think it's beautiful. It says, no winter lasts forever, no spring skips its turn. I love this. So of course it's the lettering. Um, and then, before I get to the big, the big, big box that's in here, um, Color and Cotton randomly on their Facebook group, if you're not members, go be a member. Um, they're doing some really awesome, they've done daily giveaways all month. Um, they're on to the last couple of days. But they posted, hey, so-and-so who works in our warehouse uh, just posted uh, mystery grab bags. Run. I ran. So I got, this is um, an Ada grab bag. So it looks to me that I got like a 14, a 16, and an 18. I'll verify those. So I got those pretty colors. I actually grabbed two. Because um, with two stitchers in our house now. And these are ornament cuts. And then I got these. This looks to be like a 20. Maybe a 16 an 18 and a 16. I'm not sure. I will. I have the little thing that you can figure it out. But I have gotten their grab bags before and they're fantastic. And then they had some floss grab bags. I got two. So I got this set. And these are actually, like, these are named. They're not mysteries. They just happen to be on their old style, old style tags. And then I got this one. So I got kind of like a C assortment and a flower assortment, <laughs> which I love. Um, this one on this end is fantastic and it's unicorn tail. I know that because I have like four skeins of it for something. I don't know what. All right, let's throw in some more past the stash. So let's do this one. This is a little spooky house. So we're gonna say house for this one. Okay, so house. We've got this one with this witch brewing something and she has 31 in her hand and 13 on her kettle. So we're going to put um, brew, B-R-E-W, B-R-E-W. Remember, if you don't spell it correctly, we have the thing won't pick it up. And then I randomly threw this one in because of how much rain I've had. So this is um, a little cute one that says rain. And so this one's going to be keyword rain. Remember to please... Be 18, so I can legally have your address. Please have filled out my Happy Mail contact form below because when I spin and I get your name, if you have not filled it out, I cannot send it to you. I will go on to someone else. I don't tell you either. Like, that's just for ease for me. I'm sorry to say. Um, if you don't want me to have your address and you don't want to fill that out, then you really don't want to get the cool stuff. I think they're cool. I mean, not everybody does. And so, anyway... Um, Please do not say giveaway. Please do not say free. Those are kind of those buzzwords that, you know, people will search for them and then they come. And I want these to go to stitchers. Um, I want them to go to people who love and will stitch these. And these are fun little stitches. I have a couple of them. I have one going right now. But I have a bunch more in the gamut. So the, the last thing to share with you, um, and I was a little late to get this, and my post office did not treat it kindly. Look, there's a hole in the bottom. A full-on hole in the bottom. Thankfully, nothing was injured. No stitchy things were injured in this box traveling to me. Um, yeah. So, I got a Halloween mystery box from Brandy at Be Stitch Me.
this is the basic box. So I know there are three. There were three tiers, I believe. Maybe only two. I don't know. I have purchased the winter box. Um, and I did the deluxe winter box. So I didn't do the epic. I did the deluxe. This is the basic. Well, the basic is phenomenal. So I'm going to show you the fabric in a minute. But I'm going to show you the other goodies first. And I know you've probably seen these on other people's channels. So I'm not going to go into too much detail. But the first thing is this cute chart from Cherry Hill Stitchery. We have some Bowen size 26 needles. Some of these things I'm not keeping. I won't tell you what. Oh, and I also have some Bowen 24 needles. I can tell you these I won't, these will be coming in my 3K giveaway, which is I'm still acquiring things because I don't stitch with Bowens. But I know a lot of people that do. I got some Stitcher's Lotion, which I remember I was talking about crunchy hands. Stitcher's Lotion. And I got Blackberry Vanilla. And I haven't had a chance to smell this, but from what I understand, this is like a good scent. This is a good one. And plus, I'm really excited. Yes. Ooh, that smells really good. Okay, so I'm excited about that. And then I got um, a Mill Hill. This is Glowing Pumpkin. So there's, I think there were a couple of choices you could get. There was like this one. I don't remember. But um, I got this one. It's so pretty, but I don't know that... I, I think it's above my, my my stitchy pay grade. That is a lot of beads. That is a whole lot of beads. I don't know. So we'll see about that. And then it has, ooh, crinkle, crinkle. I should have taken this all out. I apologize. It's going to be like rip off a band-aid. Super beautiful silks. Hand dyed by Brandy. So there are six silks in here. We've got cauldron. Blood Moon Brew, which is a chartreuse green. All lit up, a light orange. Witchy, which is a really pretty purple. And Pumpkin. I think she might have holiday boxes still available, or winter boxes. So if this at all appeals to you, like this whole concept of a box, go get one. This is incredible. Um, and then I'm going to show you the fabrics. So I got 20 count Ada. And I don't know that I'll keep all of these. It is possible these will be part of my 3K giveaway. I got, this is an 18 by 14. So this is a little bit of a smaller cut. And this is called Headless Horseman. Oh my gosh. Like look at how beautiful that is. So beautiful. And I wasn't going to get this. I wasn't. But then FOMO and Brandy's fabrics. And so I actually reached out to Brandy and incredible as she is, she had dyed some extra and she managed to put together a box for me. I said, I don't even care because what I don't like have to desperately have, I will pass on to y'all. Um, so this is Poison Apple. This is a little bit of a large, this is an 18 by 21. Isn't that pretty? This, this uh, Joyfield Little One saw and she goes, oh, it's Mal from Descendants. It is. This is Banshee. That's so pretty. Oh my gosh. So pretty. Witch's Brew. This would have been perfect for uh, ghosties and gourds. Perfect. Witch's Brew. And Raven. So I didn't know if I was going to get this box because I'm not a Halloween stitcher. However... These are beautiful fabrics, and they're fun colors, and they can definitely go for things other. I swear, this tripod just needs to stay out of my way, or maybe I should stay out of the tripod's way. Hmm, I'm not sure how that works exactly. So, anywho, I don't know how many boxes I have coming for the holiday. I'm not sure. I don't remember. But I know I'm going to have fun opening every single one of them. And I know I have Forbidden Fiber because that one's already come. All right, so again, if you are interested in stitching any of these and would like to um, put it in the comments below, Moon, Boo, B-O-O, -O, House. Did I say House or Haunted? How about Haunted House? Haunted House. And I'll look for Haunted. I can't remember, but it's going to be Haunted. And then we have Brew, B-R-E-W, and Rain. So... 
Um, and you can go back and edit your comments. I also realize that I can search based on replies to comments. So if you happen to like reply to your original comment with the words, that's fine. But you can go back and edit. So if you made it to this point and um, have stuck in this long, thank you. I hope that you enjoy um, your stitching to come. I'm going to share my Teresa Kogut Angel Kindness card. And this... Um, beautiful beautiful angel holding all those hearts it says act like your life is a blessing and you'll start feeling like life is a blessing give thanks for your blessed life and i'm going to be very simple and say amen my life is blessed i know it i have a wonderful family i have wonderful friends i have a job that i adore teaching kids that are fantastic and I am exceedingly blessed. I have hobbies that I enjoy. I feel rather, I feel good about them. I'm proud of them. Um, and I have wonderful folks like you in my life. And that, that is a blessing to me. So thank you so much for joining me. I have no clue how long this Ramble Fest will be. Um, the stitching was few and far between. I hope you enjoy seeing some of the like lovely things that I got in the mail and hearing about my plans. If you have any questions, feel free to put them in the comments below. Um, I love answering questions. Um, I will answer them the best that I can. And I wish you a wonderful week ahead. I hope that the weather is nice where you are. I know some places are still exceedingly hot. I also know some places have already gotten snow. Um, but hopefully you can find some crafty time in your day to kind of relax, that you can um, have a good stress-free weekend. And this next week will be great for you. I know that this next week, um, my daughter has been doing at their school in third grade, they do a pioneer unit. They learn all about pioneer life and they do a pioneer project and they get to like pick their topic. And she did hers yesterday, or no, the day before yesterday. And hers was Pioneer School Games. So she um, shared about that. She made a Google slideshow all by herself, which I was super proud of. And she taught everybody how to play Button Button, which is a Pioneer game. And typically they would have in the past gone on a field trip to a local like um, historical park called Log Cabin Village that is literally transplanted log cabins. They are historically true to life and they moved them all they have a blacksmith shop they have a one-room schoolhouse they have so the, and they would dress up in pioneer wear um but due to covid thankfully log cabin village does virtual field trips so on wednesday they are doing their virtual field trip and they are encouraged to dress in pioneer wear so sh we have her a little pioneer dress a pinafore and a bonnet to wear on wednesday and she's excited she got it today and she has not taken it off yet. I've been sent pictures of her walking around and playing in the yard in her, in her pioneer dress. She wants a nightgown just like it. So that's super exciting. That's on Wednesday. Um, so I just pray that this week is as stress-free as possible. And I will leave it at that. And with that, I will bid you a wonderful week ahead and... So long, stitch well. I'll see you soon, my friends. Goodbye. Goodbye, and I'll see you next week.